What happened to Arsenio? Yeah, what happened? Oh, he's, he's such a skinny guy. Is he? I, remember, I remember when I saw he him. He was skinny to begin with, but yeah. I, I remember I did a, like a little skit with him. Um, That's right. Yeah. At the, the same he, convention he, we attended. Yeah, he yelled at me <laughs> while Arnold Schwarzenegger was the there. Governator <laughs> yeah, governor shook my hand yeah. and almost broke it. Public. I'm Dutch. Jules here. Dylan. And welcome to another episode of our <laughs> ultimate spirit. <laughs> Clearly chewing on something. Uh, <laughs> so professional. Carnage out of prize, but that's okay. Um, all right, mm-hmm. guys. Ultimate spirits competition. We where we try to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, will it small batch family estate rye wow. is on the chopping block now. If you like seeing reviews and you want to see a detailed <laughs> analysis of what we go through while we're right. reviewing this, yeah. you want to see hit, the fights. That, hit that join button because you get to see all the dirty deeds, done dirt cheap, that we do while we're discussing our review of this. So, punches are thrown. Punches, sometimes. We don't know what's going to happen with this one because we haven't done it yet. We, uh, we've never reviewed this before. Um, you know, we need to do more rise. We did. And this is a rye that gets a lot of heat. It's a pretty popular rye. It's a rye that comes at us at 56.4% alcohol. Ooh, Why are you laughing? Give me the heat. You're like you're like chewing on stuff. <laughs> you know, it's like you're like a cow. Chewing on cud. Cud? So this is on his third stomach? I mean I still got carne asada well, fries not, in my mouth. Can we be a little bit more professional? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> We're not going to be more professional here. This is the bottle. It looks great. I love the Willet family crest on there. That's cool. Um, you know, and it says on the back, small batch, Willet family estate. Um, Doesn't say it on the front? Green um, on the labeling up here. It does say that it is a four-year-old hand bottle cask strength rye. So 56.4%, 112.8 proof. I'm going to get us poured. Dylan's going to talk a little more about this. Yeah, so, you know, we go way back with Willet, right? Um, this was before they opened their distillery. Um, we loved the pot reserve back in the day when they were sourcing that, right? And I remember in the beginning, pot reserve was like the big thing. Because yeah. I did remember when we bought the, like, the big 1.75? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And yeah. we, like, finished. We killed it. Yeah, we killed it in, like, one sitting. Back in the day. Back in the day. And then it kind of, like, Dino. fell off yeah. the radar. And then Willet um, opened the uh, their own distillery in I think two thousand and two I think my be- I believe, and they started distilling their own stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, it's two thousand twelve, not two thousand two. Two thousand twelve, um, and then so they started to release this. Uh, they released like the two year, and then the four year, and then they have like varying ages from time to time. Um, they think that this is a blend of their high rye mash bill, which is the 75 rye, 11 corn, and 15 malted barley, plus the low rye, which is the 51% rye, 34 corn, the, the and The barely 15. legal rye. Yeah, so, you know, the, it is it is a blend of things, and, you know, there's... People love this. There's, like, a cult following with this. Uh, people pay, like, exorbitant yeah. prices for this. Price point on this, though, is, like... I think I got this for just a little over 50, 55 ish. That's right. Um, if you get to the right store at the right time and they've got a shelf full of it, you can get it for a decent price. And I will say, I feel like in the past six months to a year, it's been a lot easier to find this yeah, at I mean, MSRP. Yeah, it's definitely on the shelf. It's on the shelf. Yeah, you, you, can, can, you can get it. Yeah. Um, much easier to find than the purple bottle um, Willet Bourbons. That's Family right. Reserve. Those. My God, unicorns. impossible to find unicorns, out here, especially out here on the West Coast. Almost impossible to find. But let's get tasting on this, guys. See how it is. I'm shocked by my score. I am actually completely shocked by my score too. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've had some time to score. 
We've discussed. Great discussion in our bonus footage. You guys can see that. Punches were thrown on this uh, one. Not really. I mean, we were not, none of us were that far off. Uh, we were all pretty close. Uh, but let's kick off this uh, summary discussion with our discussion of the good. A lot of good, guys. Um, I, uh, I really loved the finish and the aroma. The aroma to me hit me with this minty, pine needle-y, marshmallow-y flavor. Um, there was just enough of that sweetness that crept in that made me realize, ah, this isn't gonna be one of those overwhelmingly medicinal rise. And, I, and when it hit, the, hit me on the nose, I was like, okay, now I know that this is gonna be good. Mm. So I love the aroma on this. Um, the finish, likewise, I mean, that peppermint, peppermint kind of boiled through along with like this weird like cherry thing started to hit me on the finish. So mm. again, uh, when I drink rye and I, all I get is that medicinal minty kind of thing, I'm a little bit put off. Mm. When it has that fruity sweetness that comes in, that really balances that, really rounds it out. And this really, really had it on the finish and on the aroma for me. Great marks on that. Oh, this was a flavor happiness in a bottle. I mean, it's literally like, pick, choose your favorite like sweet snack and put it in a bottle. And that's what this was for me. I mean, I, I described it earlier in like our, in our Curiosity Private as Popcornopolis opening up a bag of the Chicago style where it's got caramel popcorn with chocolate in there. This was amazing. Incredible flavors all around. Yeah. Plus mint. And then mint, gotta on, be, especially the, on the back end. The, you're chewing mint gum while yeah. you open that bag. Exactly. Then I get what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to focus on the body and the balance. Um, I think they disagree with me a little bit. Uh, yes. the, the body, I thought was good. I thought it was actually excellent for what you get. Um, you know, for okay. this yeah. percentage and the kind of rye mix that you get, I thought it was a very, very, very hefty, robust kind of flavor on the mouth, on the, on the tongue. Um, but I want to focus a little bit more on the balance. So here's the problem with rye. Again, I sadly I've gone around the world and people have shoved like artisanal rye in my face, telling me this is the best thing since sliced rye bread. Okay. The problem is most of those were complete garbage. I'm sorry to say. The the, the amazing thing part of this Stop. amazing yeah. <laughs> The amazing thing about this is, you know, you get that rye and it's kind of, so what, what, you know, you're, you're approaching that like medicinal weird flavor. This thing like stops it in its track. And that's where I thought the yeah. balance, like I have to give more points to balance because man, most, most rye that I've had, it just kind of goes over to the medicinal and just like ruins the flavor. You know what that is? Uh, I feel like what you just nailed is the difference between a mixing rye and a sipping rye. Yeah. Because a mixing rye, you kind of want, you want it to go. You want the extra punch. Yeah. You, you want, want that, like, because go it's going to get down. watered down. Yeah, because yeah. you're going to mix it and it's going to yeah. it's going to shine. It's going to be great in the cocktail. You want but... that chewy, like, uh, grainy, yeah. medicinal. This is a sipper. Like, this one long. stops it, it stops, and, like, and provides that. Sweet comes in. Yeah, it provides it. That's why the balance. I get what you're saying. Nine out of ten. All right. Well, let's move on and discuss what we thought might have been bad. Not a ton of bad. Mm -hmm. um, we all had pretty high scores for this. But um, for me, uniqueness suffered a little bit. I don't know how this really stands out from the pack of kind of... Uh, I'll call them not barely legal rise, but like the rise that have a decent amount of corn in them. I mean... It's good. It's really good. But I think that the sweetness is what we all thought saved this. Yeah. And I don't know how it would stack up against other ryes that also have that, mm. you know, decent amount of corn component in them. Um, I mean, every other category was really high, but uniqueness just suffered a little bit for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally nitpicking here, and the balance is where it was bad. And again, nitpicking. And it's mostly because, again, I described this in our Curiosity Private, where it's like I was, you know, doing the scratch and sniff stickers, and it just I was just getting that, and that's it. And I wasn't getting, like, full components of, like, the fruit that I wanted or was expecting. And that's literally only it. Again, I'm nitpicking here. But. Yeah, but I think you haven't tasted all the bad rye that's out there. There's some bad uh, rye. There's, so, there's a lot of bad rye. Uh, they completely disagree with me on this, but I thought the finish was not that great. And I think Please this is where, disagree. yeah, I think this is where the age, um, you know, brings it down a little bit. You don't get the long finish. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is where you get um, it's a nice some of that, hug. almost like, um, 
it's a, it's a myopic finish, meaning that it's it, it's like one note. It has maybe you know it's it, it's that it's that grainy finish, and it's really quick, and it disappears. And what lingers? It's not like well rounded, and that's why I I didn't mm -hmm. score that very high. Oh, it's not oh. terrible, but right it's now. just yeah. not. It's just not. <laughs> well. I mean, Dylan's presbyopia is showing because he can't see what the heck is going on with this finish. <laughs> but um, wow. there's a lot there. Anyway, let's Man, all these SAT words on here. <laughs> let's move on to value. All right, what would you guys pay for this? It's uh, exactly at its as it's priced. Sixty bucks, fifty-five. What we 60 got? Bucks. Oh, sixty bucks. I'd say forty-five, fifty. It's good where it's at. Yeah, 55? I think it's pretty good where it's at. It, yeah. I mean, I scored it. Just off of perfect. I mean, it's it's almost perfectly priced. Yeah, four out of five. I think um, they easily could justify a sixty to seventy dollar price range on this. Agreed. Given the other things that are there, but Agreed. it shines where it is. Yeah. I think a uh, you know Completely fifty agree. bucks, all day. Completely mm, agree. I think you can. I, I think the the okay, variety, whistle pig is seventy. Come yeah, on. the variety of rye that's out there 70. now in twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one. Um, I think it, you can't justify going that high anymore. I agree. I, agree. Uh, I, I think, think where, it's, where it is yeah, is fair. Yeah, yeah I, I, I would never play, pay like the secondary prices if it was oh, above yeah. that. There's no way. Yeah. There's just no way. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. All right. Let's get our scores. We do have a 100-point grading system across 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. We do weigh flavor more at 20 points and aesthetics and value at half at five each. All right. And we do give a medal above 60 up <laughs> from bronze, silver, gold to diamond. And I gave it. What'd you get? An 82. I give it an 80. Give it an 83. Wow. And that leaves so, us with our ultimate spirits competition score for Willet Family Estate Rye. Four year old. Gold for sure. It's definitely gold. It's an 81. Ooh, well done, Willet. Shocker. A great shocker that a rye. Rye. Well done. Well done. I'm shocked that a four year rye got a gold. Well it's done. It's good. But it's really good. I mean, that's... Uh, I get why there's a cult following, right? I do, too. too. I, yeah. I think it, it kind of surprised us all. But yeah. uh, a fun tasting, a, definitely a tasty one. Jules? Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Have you guys tried it? Let us know. We'd love to find out. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Hit the subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check out our podcast on major podcast platforms. And if you're the cool guy or gal, check out that our Curiosity Private membership on YouTube. Hit that join button. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. <laughs>